there is no meaning behind existence. There is nothing outside reality that decided to create this reality and that decided what the meaning of this reality is. You understand? There is zero meaning. You just exist. No one decided what the meaning of your life will be. Right? You just exist. That's something that I've been wrestling with for a while. I exist. I'm here. What am I supposed to be doing? Is there anything to do? We really live in a world that the more conscious you become, the more you want to detach yourself from it, right? It's not like we live in a world where life is making sense. I don't care how well you're doing in this world. I, I don't really think that being too attached to this world is the way to go i think the more conscious you become the more you want to detach yourself from it right we live in a world where something is off like if we need to be honest with ourselves we can we can sense that something is off oh we live in a world where something is off and there's no meaning. That's what I've been wrestling with. Like, okay, yeah. I'm having this experience and of course, if there's no meaning, I'm the one who creates meaning. But this isn't the kind of world that I want to be attached to. This isn't the kind of world that I would want to um, fall in love with. This is the kind of world that I want to detach myself from because the more attached I become to this world, the more I suffer and there is nothing that I'm actually gaining from suffering. It's not like there's something that you are gaining from suffering. What I've realized is that the more I suffer, the more I wake up. Or maybe uh, that's why we suffer, so that we wake up. Maybe that's the only positive thing about suffering is that you actually do wake up but the more i suffer the more i detach myself the more i realize how meaningless everything is because there was a time when i felt like this was a meaningful experience but then Suffering happened and I started to feel like, wait, what is the meaning of this again? And I couldn't find meaning at all. I realized that I was the one who was actually creating meaning. I can decide that this has meaning. I do have the authority to give this meaning. I do have the authority to say the meaning of life is worshipping God. I do have the authority to say the meaning of life is to love other people. I do have the authority to say the meaning of life is having children. I'm the one who give life meaning. There is nothing outside of this experience that's going to come and actually give my life meaning. I'm the one who decides what the meaning of my life is. But that also means that I 
there is nothing that actually gave my life meaning right because when people ask themselves what the meaning of life is they th they feel like there is something higher than them that actually decided what the meaning of life is Like, no, there, there has to be something outside of me that gave my life meaning. But there's no meaning behind existence. There's nothing that decided that you're going to exist and this is going to be the meaning of your life. There's nothing that actually decided that. And the problem is that when you are like very very conscious it's actually hard to give your life meaning because i think the less conscious you are the easier it will be for you to i don't know, like enjoy the simplest things like when you were a child you used to enjoy the simplest things right but when you grew into an adult it was much harder for you to enjoy the things that you enjoyed doing when you were a child so when you become so them conscious is going to be hard to give your life meaning because you, you're going to stop believing in things that you used to believe in um you might start to think well having children might not uh be a good idea because you're becoming more conscious like hey why should i be having children people who are having children will say yeah i'm having children because that's what gives my life meaning I'm having children because I want to leave a legacy. I'm having children because, well, that's what we must do. Why should we not have children? I mean, that's something that we must do. Uh, those who came before us had children, so we must also have children. I'm having children because I want to love someone. But the more conscious you become, the more you see through everything. You're like, wait. I don't know, like I'm creating these conscious beings without their consent and I'm not really sure why I'm doing that. I'm not really sure if they are going to like this experience. And that is true. I'm not sure. I don't know if they're going to like this experience. I don't know if... They're not going to go through hell because that's also possible. If you create a new person, it's very possible that they might go through hell even if they didn't do anything wrong. Like even if they do everything right, it, it's possible that they might go through hell. And that is something to consider before creating a new life. But some people tell themselves that the meaning of life is to have children some people will say the meaning of life is to worship some god but yeah the meaning of life is to worship god i have to give my life to jesus i have to live for christ if you're not living for christ what are you doing with your life if you're not living for christ you're sinning you're busy sinning you know those who are living for christ are actually better than you because you are sinning you're a bad person and god is going to punish you you know to feel like God is going to punish those who don't, <laughs> who don't believe in him. Like if you don't believe in my God, you're going to be punished. But that's what gives a life meaning. Like, yeah, I'm working for Christ. You know, I've given my life to Christ. And there's, their life revolves around that. You know, the first, well, the first thing they, they think about when they wake up in the morning is Christ. You know, the, first, the last thing they think about when they uh, sleep is Christ. The first thing they think about when they fall in love is Christ. The truth is that there is no meaning behind existence. Humans and animals create meaning. But the highest truth is that there is no meaning to this. Because 
if we are the ones who create meaning, it means we are the one who actually give life meaning. It's not that life itself has meaning, it's us who give it meaning. That's something that I've been wrestling with because I'm a very conscious person and the more conscious I become, the more I fall out of love with the things that used to be meaningful to me. You know, the more I look at things, be like, there's no meaning. There's no meaning to this. I used to think that there was meaning to this because I was not as conscious as I am now. But now that I'm conscious, I realize that well, there's no meaning to this. I used to find meaning in uh, love. Be like, yeah, you know, I found this girl. She's wonderful. You know, she's my soulmate. You know, I love her. I will die for her. And then you get to deal with reality and you realize that Hey, people do change, people do leave, people will hate you, you know, people will um, betray you, people will leave you. So, it's me who actually thought that, uh, you know, the people who were in my life were in my life because something wanted them to be in my life and for a reason but the truth is that there was no reason it's just that we're here we're having an experience and things are going to happen right we're here having an experience and things are going to happen but there's no meaning behind these experiences that we're having it's just that things must happen i remember my ex actually told me this the other day she was like you try to find meaning in everything like you try to find a special meaning in every experience that you have and and i thought that was interesting and that kind of opened my eyes it was like yeah she might actually be right you know because i really do try to find meaning in everything but yeah it really does suck to realize that there is no meaning to life we just exist right we just exist you don't exist because there was something outside of existence that decided that you must exist for a reason no no you exist because you just exist like that that is the truth you exist because you exist that sucks more when you are suffering you know when things are not making sense because you you won't really be able to find strength to deal with whatever you're dealing with if you realize that well it's all meaningless it's not like i'm fighting for something you know it's not like i'm fighting for something good it's not like i'm fighting for something uh That's actually worth it in the end. I'm just here having this experience for no reason at all. People want to suffer for something. If you're going to suffer, it must be for something. The reason why people wake up in the morning and work out is because they... they are suffering for something it's not like people really enjoy working out but they know that they're gonna be healthy and they have told themselves that being healthy is better some some of them know that they're gonna be in good shape and they told themselves that well being in good shape is better i gotta look good i gotta have muscles People must look at me and be like, wow. But imagine suffering 
and not really know why you're suffering right not being able to create meaning out of your suffering not being able to justify your suffering not being able to say yeah i'm, I'm suffering yes that's true but this is why i'm suffering <laughs> i think christians are doing better than most of us because They've given meaning to their suffering. They're suffering because they're in a world where the devil runs shit. And well, and, and they, they are good people in this world where the devil runs shit. So he's trying to um, win over their souls. And that's why their lives are actually hard. All they need to do is to have faith in Christ, have faith that Christ is going to save them. You know, that's the game that they are playing and that makes sense to them. Because what can they do? You know, what do you do as a human? Shouldn't you create your own stories? Your own stories to, to kind of like experience? The same way that you are able to imagine yourself having some experiences, <laughs> there are people who would imagine themselves in a bad situation, and that and they end up like feeling bad because they imagine themselves in a bad situation. But then, you know, th things end up changing, and they find themselves in a much better situation. And they feel good about <laughs> what they've imagined. So that's, that's how life is. It's like we, we are imagining this. We are imagining everything. So some people have created uh, religions. And uh, that's what gives their life meaning. Because there is no meaning. It's not because these religions are based on truth. It's obvious that these religions are not based on truth. But people don't want to feel like this is meaningless. Because it's lonely to feel like this is meaningless. Like when you really think deeply about it, it is actually lonely. So realize that, well, there's no meaning. Because there isn't. Like I'm telling you, there's nothing outside of existence that gave this experience meaning. All right? You just, yeah, you exist, and that's it. So you can believe anything. You can believe that. If you pray to this thing, good things are going to happen in your life. You're going to believe, you can believe that if you throw this thing away, something bad is going to happen. You can believe that if you keep this thing inside your pocket, you're doing something right. You can believe anything. Consciousness can bullshit itself in any way. That's why we have people who suffer from uh, mental conditions like schizophrenia for example you know they end up creating experiences for themselves that actually scare them sometimes sometimes these experiences do not scare them but they're the ones who are creating these experiences consciousness does that like there's nothing that consciousness cannot do consciousness can believe its own BS. But the highest truth is that there is nothing behind existence that gave existence meaning. So that means that there is no meaning to life. I do want to believe that there is meaning to life. I've wanted to believe that there is meaning to life because that made me feel better, you know. Believing that there's meaning to life will actually make you feel better than you feel when you believe there's no meaning to life. But the truth is, there is no meaning. There could never be meaning. A lot of people who realize that there's no meaning to life become nihilist well what what do i gotta do what do i gotta do after realizing that there's no meaning to life 
should I try to find love? Will that make me feel better? Should I try to find a better job than I have? Will that make me feel better? Should I quit my job and start a business? Will that make me feel better? Should I leave my partner and find a, a better partner? Will that make me feel better? What should I do? Because this is meaningless. People end up chasing happiness as well. They realize that this has no meaning. Like, what, what should I do if this has no meaning? I you just chase happiness. I should just chase a temporary high because happiness comes and go. It's not like if you find something that makes you happy, you're going to be happy forever. It doesn't work that way. You can buy the dopest car in the world right now, but that doesn't mean that you're going to be satisfied with that car forever. You can find yourself wanting a new car, another car. You can buy the dopest house in the world, but that doesn't really mean you're going to be satisfied. You can find yourself wishing that you lived in a better house, especially if you can live in a better house. I mean, yeah, if you buy a very dope house and you can't live in another house, you might actually appreciate being in that house more than if you can buy another house. You see, the more options you, you have the harder it will be for you to appreciate what you have that is why some of the most attractive people in the world don't really appreciate being loved if you realize that like if you're a very attractive guy and women are chasing you and you decided to like date one of them you might not really appreciate that you like I mean, all the women want me, so who cares? You know, I can find another woman anytime. I can just do this and just be in another relationship. So why should I appreciate the relationship that I'm in right now? But if you feel like you cannot do better, if you feel like there isn't another person that's better than your partner or there isn't a person that's going to love you more than your partner it will be much easier for you to actually appreciate the relationship that you are in there's a reason why celebrities who have it all like just need Bieber you know what if you had it all there's no one to call but yeah there's a reason why people who have it all are actually lonelier than most of us. You think those who have it all are, are not lonely, they are good, but they, they realize how meaningless everything is. You know, they don't find themselves like appreciating the people who are in their lives. You know, like, ah, everyone is in my life because they want money, you know. There's no meaning in that. Like they start to see things as they really are. Sometimes I think it's good that I don't have everything that I want because if I had everything that I want I would actually feel worse. If I had everything that I want, I would actually feel worse. Like, what's more to do? So, it might not be good to have everything that you want. Just like it is not good to have nothing. 
right? To like be at the bottom, not have food, not have anything, not have anyone. Like that sucks. But I think it also sucks like having everything. I think you will get bored. Like if you had everything, think like try imagine yourself having everything that you've ever, ever wanted. Don't you think you get bored in with, within a year? I mean, I do know that uh, most people who have realized that this is meaningless are bored. But you it would be you feel much worse if you had everything. Because you realize that some of the things that you didn't have that you felt would make your life better do not make your life better. You have everything and your life still sucks. Like what 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 else can you do? You are very conscious and you have everything and you see everything for what it is. What else? What else can you do? If you're a guy who struggles with women, you might think, you know what, if I can find a girlfriend that's going to love me, I'm going to feel better. And you will feel better if life gave you that experience, right? Life gave you a partner that actually loves you. You will, you will feel good if you've struggled with women your whole life. But imagine yourself not struggling with women at all. Every woman wants you. Do you really think you'll be able to appreciate having a partner? Like you would appreciate having a partner if you, if, 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 if you struggled with women. Some people might think that I'm saying if there was no suffering in the world, then life would suck. Because some people will say that, you know, to appreciate the light, you have to see the darkness. No, no, no. that is not true. What really makes this experience uh, I'd say good like I, th I think the people who are actually enjoying more than everyone else are the people who don't struggle a lot to get what they want to a point where they they just like it's just too much right like they're not in a situation where things are so damn bad that it's it's just impossible for them to get what they want or they try to get what they want and 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 it and and the and they suffer so much time to get what they want to a point where they just don't want what they wanted anymore. Like, you know what? It is what it is. It is what it is. I don't care anymore. Imagine if you were playing a game. No matter how hard you try to reach a, a certain stage, it was just... You, you were not reaching, you were not reaching the stage. You almost get to a point where it was, you would just reach the stage by luck. Like it was no, no longer based on skill. Like it was so hard that you just don't reach the stage by knowing how, uh, how to play the game, but just by luck. Of course, that game will be boring. You do want some tension. You do want things to be a bit hard. You know, you don't want things to be too easy, but you don't want things to be too hard. And I think one of the reasons why this is becoming meaningless for many people is because they're realizing that it's too hard. Like something is wrong, you know, like it gets to a point where it's just too hard and people end up not appreciating this. So I think that's, uh, that's why a lot of people are struggling with finding meaning you don't want to have everything that you want but you don't want it to be so hard to get what you want it's like if you were in a relationship with someone and you wanted you want you wanted to to to, to get married you know, you wanted, you wanted to marry them. 
and they kept they kept on pulling away like no 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 there's no way like we're not getting married you know and you kept on trying to get married to like it will get to a point where you're just tired where you don't even want to be married anymore i mean you would want to be married but not to them like it will really get to a point where it you just like you know this is too much like nah I mean, sometimes you, in that kind of situation, you will get married and realize that your best days are gone. Like your best days with this person are gone. Like, well, we should have married. We should have been married a long time ago. Now we're married, yes, but our best days are gone. Like, like we could, we would have enjoyed our marriage if we got married sooner than than now. So now our best days are gone. We, we can't really enjoy our marriage. So that's, that's, that's what this life feels like. It's like, yes, we do get what we want, but then when it's too late, I actually do hate that. I was having a conversation with my mom about it. I was like, I do get what it's not that I don't get the things that I want, but I get the things that I want when I no longer want them. And when it's too late, when I no longer care, I get what I want. So what should I do with, with what I wanted five years ago? I've already given up. Like, we don't get what we want when we want these things. So, because nothing is actually meaningful, by the time we get these things that we want, we no longer see meaning in, in having these things. Like, I mean, I'm over this. I'm already over this and now I'm having it like why why am I having it now that I'm over it what can I possibly gain benefit from having this if I'm already over it I think those who can be happy are the people who Don't like have everything they, they want, but who are also not in a very, very bad situation. Like they're kind of like, their lives are balanced. Like they can struggle a little to get what they want, but they can get what they want. But some people feel like it's impossible to have what they want because, well, it's always been hard for them to get what they want. And some people don't want anything anymore because they have everything. So it's hard for them to appreciate what they have, because they have everything. I think it is much worse to have everything and not be able to appreciate anything. So you have everything, but you appreciate nothing. Like nothing makes you happy. Yes, you have all the money in the world, but the money does not make you happy. So sometimes the illusion of happiness is what keeps you going. You're like, you know what? Yeah. Um, you know, now I, I don't have a car. That's why I'm unhappy, right? If I bought a car, I'll be happy. And then you buy a car, and then after some few months, you feel the way that you've always felt. Like, okay, you know what? Maybe because I don't know to have a house. So I'm, I'm going to buy a house. And you buy a house, you feel better for a few months, and then, boom, you go back to feeling the way that you've always felt. Like, okay, you know what? Uh, I'm, let me get married. You get married, you go back to feeling the way that you've always felt. You know what, maybe I should get a promotion. You get a promotion, you go back to feeling the way that you've always felt. A happiness is like drinking. You get drunk for a while, but you're not going to be drunk forever. There's a reason why people who are addicted to... I don't even want to say it on YouTube, you know. But they want more. Like they don't get used to what they're used to and be like, you know what? I no longer I don't no longer feel high when I'm you know, now I need more. I need I need the hardest stuff that I can find. That's how it works. You start with like cigarettes, you're like, yeah, yeah, cigarettes make me feel good and you're like ish. Weed. Okay, weed makes me feel good. Uh, ish. Okay, then you go to the hard stuff. That's how it is in life. You do get some of the things that you want, and you're like, yeah, I'm going to feel good. 
you know now i'm gonna be happy now everything is fine everything is perfect and then you go back to feeling that you the way that you've always felt and then you find yourself wanting more because there's no meaning right there's no meaning to any of this you just think there is because well you you don't have the things that you want so you're like well yeah if i had the things that i want you know i would feel much better but if you had everything that you wanted you wouldn't feel much better probably feel worse the truth is that there is no meaning to life and that is why a lot of people who are conscious ain't happy some people think that the people who are conscious are not happy because there is something wrong with them you know try to diagnose them <laughs> like, yeah, you, you have depression you know that's why you're unhappy now you have depression because you realize how meaningless everything is and you don't know how to cope knowing what you know you don't know how to cope understanding what you understand you don't know how to to heal you don't know how to feel better That's what sucks. How do you feel better knowing what you know? It's those who know too much that actually end up uh, bored. Yeah, like the more you know, the harder it will be for you to enjoy life. If you realize that, it's like if you know nothing, there's a lot to know. There's a lot to learn. So you kind of you excited, right? You know nothing. You are you're in a world and you don't know what's really going on and it's presented as if, as if it's it's a good world, right? Everyone is telling you that the world is good. Of course, that's what they're going to tell you. Like, no one is going to come to you and be like, hey, you know, like, you know, bad things really do happen here, you know? Like, people ain't going to, like, really be that open with you, especially... If you are you are still like growing, me jane, because I'm not Jimmy Nyan. Ah, but I saw, but I saw. So yeah, um, it is really difficult. For adults to explain to children what life is really like, they just have to tell them what they think they should tell them. You know, they just tell them what their parents have told them. You know, their parents told them, hey, you know, life, life is beautiful. You know, you can be anything that you want. I remember there's this movie that I watched with this. This guy was in a classroom. Like he was not a teacher, he was just there. I don't I don't know why he was there. But yeah, he was there and uh kids were asked to um stand in front of the class and actually tell other students why what they want to be in life. And you know, they all wanted to be something important. And the guy was like, you know what, let's, you need to be realistic, you know, try, <laughs> you know, try something more realistic, you know, maybe you're going to be a teacher, maybe you're going to, you're going to be a cop, you know, you're not going to be a pilot, you know, there are very few pilots in the world, you're not going to be an astronaut, you know, there ain't that many astronauts, you're not going to be a scientist, there ain't that many scientists, you know. You're not going to be a famous actor. There ain't that many, you know, famous actors in the world. Like, there are actors, but they ain't that many. Like, you can be an actor if you want to be an actor, but you might not get famous, you know. There's only one Leonardo DiCaprio. You're going to be a famous musician. Like, there's, there's like 20 of you, like, 
<laughs> there's a big chance that none of you are going to become what you think you want to become. Like there's, a, there's a big chance that you all end up not <laughs> becoming what you and and the the lady that uh, was that I think the lady was was that teacher. She she was mad at the guy. Like no, like wh why do you tell him that? But it was true. It was the truth. So yeah, I think life is nice when you still believe that you can be anything, and you think that you becoming what you want to become is gonna make you happy. So yeah, you can believe that you can be you can be anything and end up becoming what you wanted to become, right? It does happen that at the age of five you're like, you know what? I wanna be, I wanna be a rapper. I think Jay Z moms, Jay Z's mom used to like said that he he wanted he used to rap when he was young, like he wanted to be a rapper. Like most people who wanted to be artists, and and the most people who were successful as artists wanted to be artists when they were young. Like they realized that that's what they wanted. So it does happen that you, you 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 discover your talent when you're still young, and 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 realize what you want to be, and actually end up succeeding. But people can see the potentials, you know. Like when you're still young, like you see, like if you're special, you're special, right? There's something about you that's different. There's something about you that's different. If you can sing better than other kids, people can see that, okay, this one is going far with that singing. But you, the mistake that you can make is believing that that's what's going to make you happy. Like, yeah, when I'm, when I'm famous, I'm going to be happy. But you realize that you were happier when you were a kid. You actually realize that. I, I do think that most artists who are famous now were happier when they were kids. Like they were happier when they realized that they have a gift and they can become famous. But after becoming famous, they start being happy. Because, well, there's, there's nothing to it like, that's really special. Like, what's special about everyone knowing you when you think about it? You know, you, you actually find yourself having more problems than you did when people didn't know you. It reminds me of this uh, famous uh, clip f uh, of Kanye West, like being mad at the paparazzi. Like it's it's very funny. <laughs> uh, the guys, these guys were following him with cameras, and he got angry. He was with Kim. He got angry and. He charged towards the camera, and you know, <laughs> you would see that this guy is angry. Hey, like, he's so fed up. You know, he, he, he doesn't want to be followed around. You know, wherever he goes, there are people who are following him. Whenever he makes a mistake, there are people who are there, you know, recording everything. You know, when he cried, people were there recording. <laughs> you don't want that. I mean, you might think that you want that. But after a while, you get used to it. And you're like, I don't want that. Like, what's, what's so special about that? The truth is, life has no meaning. And because there's so much suffering in this world that we live in, that, that makes it bad. Like, it's bad that life has no meaning because there's so much suffering. People are playing this game that they didn't agree to play in. Or that they do not remember agreeing to playing and not remembering agreeing to playing a game is the same as not agreeing to playing if you don't remember that you chose to be here if you chose to be here that's the same as not uh, as you not having chosen to be here that's that's the same you know you must remember that you made a choice to be here if you chose to be here and you must know why you chose to be here If you don't remember why you chose to be here, you must understand during your lifetime why you chose to be here. Meaning that your whole life must be you figuring out why you chose to be here. And you must be figuring out why you chose to be here. Like, it must be possible. It mustn't be impossible, you know. Like, no matter 
how how you think you, you still don't figure out why why you are here what what this is all about this reminds me of a scene from uh the matrix is it the first matrix i think the second matrix matrix Re revolution no no matrix reloaded or maybe it's matrix revolution i don't remember but yeah neo was having a conversation with the oracle and he he realized that the oracle is able to predict what he's gonna do before you do it and he was like well if you know what i'm going to do before i do it how do i have a choice and she was like you didn't come here to make a choice you came here to realize why you made a choice and i thought that was interesting but yeah that, it'll be good if we were realizing why we chose to be here if we chose to be here but like yeah i chose to be here because this is what i wanted to experience and that actually made sense but people actually die without realizing why they chose to be here why they chose to have this experience which actually sucks people die without realizing why what what the meaning of this is because if you chose to be here i guess that would be the meaning of your life like okay I mean, if you chose to be here for a reason that would be a meaning of the meaning of your life like yeah i chose to be here because i wanted to experience this that would be the meaning of your life but if you can't remember or never realize why you chose to be here if you did choose to be here and then it's completely meaningless and most people i would say more than 90 percent of people who are here never feel like never find like never give their lives mean like let, let me put it this way they never find their papers in life they never be like you know what yeah this is what i think uh, i was uh, i'm here like they never find the papers they're like they just live their lives you can ask an old person who doesn't have um a lot of time to live what the meaning of life is don't do not give you a profound ex explanation but like oh, the meaning of life is to love you know other people the meaning of life is to uh praise god uh the meaning of life is to help you like they're gonna give you like a very profound you know meaning they'll just tell you what everyone has been saying the truth is that there is no meaning and We all know that. We don't want that to be true, but it is the truth. And there's a reason why there's so much drama in the world. Right? There's a reason why there's the reason why there's so much drama in the world. It's because there's no meaning. There's no meaning to any of this. So people become bored and they create drama. When you hear that Kanye West did something, you're like, yeah, yeah, I got it. I gotta figure out what he did and then everyone is talking about it i mean the fact that we care about celebrities should tell us something about life we wouldn't like if life had meaning we wouldn't even care about celebrities like we would be focusing on the meaning of life but because life has no meaning people get bored easily so they find themselves focusing on uh, what's happening in in other people's lives like yeah yeah rihanna has baby baby now yeah yeah s.i broke did this like why does it matter to you like it, it gets to a point where people don't even focus on their own lives like they don't even know what's going on in their own lives but they know what's going on in jay-z's life They know what Jay-Z's favorite color is, but they don't know what their favorite color is. Like, what's your favorite color? I don't know. What Jay-Z's favorite color? Blue. Yeah, I'm not saying <laughs> Jay-Z's favorite color is blue. I don't know. I've never, you know, um, seen a video where he was telling people what his favorite color is. But, I mean, his daughter's name is blue. So, yeah. I don't know that because I was following him. I know that because, well, 
it's been put on our faces, you know. Like everywhere you go, they, Jesus daughter, Jesus daughter, Jesus daughter. You know, I remember when uh, Blue was born. Um, yeah, everyone was talking about it, so of course you couldn't avoid it. But the fact that people purposefully like try to figure out what's going on in, in other people's lives, you know, that tells you something about this experience. People are bored. That's bored to death. So they find themselves focusing on things that don't really matter. Because, well, nothing really matters. But, I mean, there are things that don't even matter to them. I mean, yeah. You can say that the things that are happening in your life matter. But you can't really say things that are happening in other people's life that are, don't even know you. Ritual matter to you. Especially if there's nothing you can learn. There's no meaning. That's why me personally, it, I, I don't, don't believe in this room. I think I think consciousness is becoming bored of this. Like it's no longer able to entertain itself in this room. It's like if you 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 were a kid and you grew up faster than the other kids. And you started to hate the things that they they do for fun because you you know it's like that 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 episode from south park i th forgot the name of the episode but stan became he, he was older he, like when he reached his maybe 12th birthday he he started to hate what his friends used to do for fun like he was much older than them so it's like that like we were starting to not like the things that we used to like because we are we are too conscious with this room we are too conscious with this matrix so this matrix is failing to keep us entertained you know this this matrix is failing to keep us interested so we're no longer we're no longer enjoying our experience here we're no longer feeling this And that's the problem. Thank you all guys.